Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, your host, as you rock with us on this lovely podcast called Dragon Sports Live. If you just tuned in, or if you just tuned in, you just missed that. My name is Dante Payne, and I am your host of Dragon Sports Live. Now, we got an exciting show for you. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into it. You know, and the best way to kick off the show, we kick it off with music. That is always the best way to, to start a show. We're going to do it that way, and we're going to have fun. Stay focused, cause man, I'm on a mission Mission, show the Lord, beat the devil to submission Hope the whole world listen to your heart and pay attention Salvation game by faith, not by religion Word as prescription, Holy Spirit as conviction And I am just a messenger, playing my position There's no competition when you're trying to control destiny No weapon formed against me, prosper, yeah, that's my recipe Evil out here testing me, but the Lord blessing me My lifestyle changed, homie, this is my confession, see Heading the right direction, G, pointing to the sky Thank God every day, cause it's spirit is alive. Look, this song right here for my generation. Different situations that we often facing. Back against the wall, fighting temptations. Saying that we try, but we really so complacent. Time to stay focused on my grind. Gotta keep the Lord up on my mind. You believe that? 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 You believe that? 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 And if you love them, lift them high. Throw them hands up in the sky. You believe that? 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 Wait, wait. I had to pause for a minute to let you know the boy be all about his business. Dudes say I'm tripping, they talk about me hating. But I got two words, let me yell it for you, cat. Stop playing. Man, the boy is a beast. I live a life for God, but used to be the streets. I praise and repeat, a scholar of the heavens. I swear there's been a fight since I was about 11. I go see the reverend, he helped me out some. But God is the only one, you know he awesome. And all I know is winning, don't know another deal. So losing is not an option like a lake of hate. Feel. Yeah, and I will not fall I'm calling for the call, get yeah, a ball Man, I got swag, I get it from God And he told me to be the new school Paul Cheers. Time to stay focused on my grind Gotta keep the Lord up on my mind You believe that, that, that You believe that, that, that And if you love them, lift them high Throw them heads up in the sky You believe that, that, that you believe that, 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 hey, uh, and I'm a groove to the beat. I represent G O D, you know me, G E. Tell all demons they can fall back. Yeah, the boy real nice, I don't know like. Hey, I feel the beat, so I'm a vibe too. I know the angels and the saints down the ride too. It's no fear, cause the Lord on my side, dude. You can have it too, cause the spirit lives inside you. Uh, used to not believe till I saw true glory. May history, my middle name, rich is right before it. God is the promise, yeah, the boy honest. I'm flying with the Lord, tell that pilot get behind us. And we can cruise at different altitudes I got kingdom riches, homie, no fake jewels Undisputed heavyweight champ, I can't lose God, what you keep believing, know it's time to make moves Gotta stay focused on my grind Gotta keep the Lord up on my mind You believe that, that, that You believe that, that, that And if you love them, lift them high Throw them hands up in the sky You believe that, that, that You believe that, that, that
to Dragon Sports Live. So, it's been a tough week for Mickey Calloway in the baseball portion of it. Um, he was suspended by the Angels. Well, no, he was suspended by MLB for sexual harassment misconduct. And, you know, they don't play around with, uh, with that. And, on top of that, he also got fired by the Angels. Angels not going to tolerate that type of behavior. And... It costs you your job, so it's like, is it really worth it? Like, messing around, messing with people, harassing people. Is it really worth you losing your job and may not be able to get hired? Like, you're on a ban. You're banned for uh, until 2022. So, what you gonna do in the meantime? Like, you'll be able to be possibly be reinstated, but that depend on the league. But what you gonna do? Like, honestly, I think that that thing, like, that's wrong. It's not worth my job. Like, no female in the world is not worth my job. No, like, anything harassment wise, it ain't got to necessarily be a female. Anything harassment wise is not worth my time. So, I'm gonna keep it moving. And I think that's the best way to do it. Just keep it moving. But, you know, speaking of Angels, though, Angels pitcher had uh, Shohei Otani and Kurt Sisu was scratched from one game, um, Thursday game, because they missed the bus. Traffic was horrible, and they got there late, and they couldn't really, didn't really have no time to warm up, so they were scratched. But it is what it is. That happens. Sometimes and but no matter what, he's been red hot. Like I give Otani props. He's been killing the game right now, you know, throwing fastballs, throwing strikes, getting home runs, getting walk offs. So hey. You can miss a game every once in a while. Keep your arm healthy, keep your rest up, and stuff like that. And yeah. I I would miss a game if but San Francisco though, that traffic horrible. So I, I'm already knowing. <laughs> so I already know. Um, White Sox pay place Kopech on bereavement list, and that gets him at least I think seven days or two weeks off, like that, because he had a death in his family, and you know. My condolences go out to him and his family, but more importantly, the Sox is still red hot. They are currently, give me one second. But they currently are sitting second, while the Cubs have been way on the Wigan Street too, so. Cubs been on the... Actually, let me give y'all the exact stand is why I'm just saying stuff. No, but yes, White Sox, they're still currently at first. Um, in their last three, they're 7-3. In their last 10 games, when the Sox have jumped back up into second. Currently on a three-game losing streak, but... They went from fourth to second, and actually they're tied for first in the in the National League Central. It just the Brewers got a slight edge over them as far as like record wise, but they're tied for first right now. So big ups to them, big ups to the uh, White Sox as well, and let's keep the drive alive, like. Honestly, I would love to see a Chicago versus Chicago World Series. I would, I would love to see that. Let's see if that can happen. So, got a couple injuries, you know, that happened. Well, I should, yeah. We had Reg Nick, um, Nick Zen Zenzel, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Nick Zenzel, 
he could be missing six weeks. Also, right-handed Jeff Hoffman on 10-day IL with shoulder soreness. So, and then we, we had a couple other injuries. Frazier, I mean, not Frazier, Astros DS is out six, eight weeks with a broken hand. Um, a bleach strain sends White Sox Hampton to the IL. And Orioles also put Ace Means on IL with shoulder strain. So it's been a lot of strains, hamstrings, broken hands, a lot of that going on. And yeah, so can't do nothing about that. Can't. All we can do is take it day by day and get better. That's all you can do. But I don't know, some things I don't know will get better. Because, like, we had, oh, yeah, it will get better. We also had Tatis Jr. He leaves the game when they play against the Cubs with oblique tightness. So it's like, yeah, but I think Tatis had an oblique injury before. So he probably re-aggravated and stuff like that. You know, it is what it is. We also had Phillies to destroy, basically the Phillies destroyed the Reds 17-3. Steven uh, Stroff. Steven Strasburg left the game on a trapist injury, but like I said, these uh these games been pretty interesting, pretty pretty interesting. Like like I said, Reds destroy nil. The Sox and Indians games was postponed, and Cubs had beat the Padres six to one. Oh yeah, and the Dodgers destroyed the Cardinals fourteen to three. So. There's been a lot of games where it's a lot of home runs, and then it's a lot of games where there's no home runs, barely, or you just get bases hit. And, yeah, it's because of the new balls. Like, y'all forget they're using a new ball, so they're trying to eliminate home runs, but at the same time, you get a mixture of, like, it's really how you time the ball and how you how good of an eye and when to swing and when not to swing. And that's that. Hey, we're is back in the, in the lineup. So yeah, hey, was back, and that's pretty much what I got for you right there. So we're gonna take another music break, and we're gonna come right back into it. Coming up, NFL. We we got the Jaguars losing executives left and right. We got vets ready to play, and more. So stay tuned. Switch lanes, shorty want a new flame, wanna lose my name, wanna lose my name Now I'm feeling your pain, done playing those games I ain't playing no games, I ain't playing no games I ain't playing no games, I ain't playing no games Told you I was gonna change, now you wanna switch lanes Now you wanna switch lanes, shorty want a new flame Wanna lose my name, wanna lose my name Now I'm feeling your pain, done playing those games no games, I ain't playing no games, I ain't playing with you. I ain't trying to lose you, baby. We can grind it out. You don't like me on the gram, so I'm signing out. We hit the bottom, stuck together, now we climbing out. We had a baby on the way, then you find it now. I have another chick on the hush. We was having hard times, baby. It was clutch. I know my girl fine, and you tell me don't touch. You really shedding tears while I'm trying to make you blush, uh. What we gon' do? You hate it when I come through. When I'm down, you the only one I run to. I say I love you, then you tell me that you won't prove. You need to see I'm making changes or it's no use I'm trying to fix it all, baby, can I get a chance? You was f***ing with a boy, I'm trying to be a man I pulled up to be a friend, it wasn't in the plan And now I mean to do the dirt, I hope you understand I should've came home and told you the truth But that day I did a thing I said I never would do Heard rumors all about it, the intensity grew You got sick of all the lies, so I gave you the truth What you need me to do, I'ma figure it out You can have my phone anytime you ever in doubt Took a break for a minute, but I need you now I swear to God, on my baby, I ain't playing around I ain't playing no games, told you I was gon' 
gon' change Now you wanna switch lanes Now you wanna switch lanes Shorty want a new flame Wanna lose my name Wanna lose my name Now I'm feeling your pain Done playing those games I ain't playing no 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 games Told you I was gon' change Now you wanna switch lanes Now you wanna switch lanes Shorty want a new flame Wanna lose my name Wanna lose my name Now I'm feeling your pain Done playing those games I ain't playing no games I ain't playing no games I ain't playing with you Hold up, wait a minute Let me think about this You was kicking it with some chicks Now you wanna be it Say you playing no games Cause you losing to it I ain't trying to be the captain Now I'm running the ship <laughs> You know I'm running it now You done did a lot of dirt I should water you down <laughs> I mean, what you out You gotta pull in hella work For me to crack you a smile Cause I'm the ish, ish, ish And I'm lit, lit, lit I should post me a pic Bet you throw a little bit to a nigga. Let me come home, let you ask her where I have been You know what, let's forget about it I don't wanna even ever hear you talk about it You know I'm all about action, ain't no scripture to this Better put the words in action, let me see how you feel I ain't playing no games, I ain't playing no games Told you I was gon' change, now you wanna switch lanes Now you wanna switch lanes Shorty want a new flame, wanna lose my name Wanna lose my name Now I'm feeling your pain, done playing those games I ain't playing no games Told you I was gon' change, now you wanna switch lanes Now you wanna switch lanes Shorty want a new flame, wanna lose my name Wanna lose my name Now I'm feeling your pain, done playing those games I ain't playing no games I ain't playing no games, I ain't playing with you Hold up, who the fuck is this? So you just told me I could look through your phone I'm expecting not to find you But I'm finding something, who the fuck is this? You don't even find you What you mean? You trippin' What you just said? I ain't tripping. Ain't gonna find you. No way. Bobby. <laughs> and if you're just tuning in, you are listening and rocking or hearing Dragon Sports Live. And I'm Dante Payne. See you at the break as we kick it off with our NFL and tell you what's going on, what my opinions is, and what should or possibly could happen. All right. Welcome, welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. If you just tuning in, you just missed baseball, MLB, I'll talk about that. But, sure enough, don't worry. You can catch it again on YouTube at D-O-N-P-E-1. Or you can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or whatever you get your podcasts. Just type Dragon Sports Live in the search bar and it will pop right up. I guarantee it. Like they say. <laughs> I guarantee it. But welcome. Welcome back. Alright, we going right into the young NFL here. Um, <laughs> oh, choking off the water I was just drinking. Maybe I was about to say some boo. But no, more or less. Jaguars lost another executive. Karen Castle joined in February, now out the job. That's the second top executive to leave the Jaguars. Why should I say official or anybody staff member to leave? You know, we also had the Chris Doyle thing. He stepped away. So, as soon as he got the job, he stepped away. So, it's like, what's going on over there, peoples? What's going on, Jacksonville? What y'all got going on? Like, enlighten me on that. But Trevor Lawrence is looking good. And all the other new additions. Tebow's even looking decent. Trying to play tight end. And let's see how that goes for him. We got Sportsbook having him under. As far as scoring TD of the 2.5 or something like that. But, yeah, what's going on? What's going on? I should say, what's going on behind the scenes? I ain't going to say player-wise. What's going on behind the scenes? Uh, <laughs> and I hope you guys rectify that and get everything situated come season. You know, training camp is just around the corner. So, we shall see what goes on. <laughs> All right. Veteran offensive lineman, Jared Veer, he plans to retire 
after he was given a six game suspension and it what he got suspended for it i guess it was um performance enhancing drugs and it was a drug that he needed to treat something that he has and he's like what's the point if i can't do this he basically just like all right i'm gonna retire it is what it is some people they had that mentality like some ain't going their way. They just don't want to up and retire. And yeah. I. I can't blame them. But I understand. But I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go down that route at all. Like I just served my 16 suspension. And then come back ready to play. Like especially if I'm ready to still play. If I still got a lot in my tank. So. I would. But you know. Have fun with your endeavors. And, yeah. That's all I can say. But Eagles did promote Catherine Ritchie to VP of Operations. So she's now the highest paid female on there. Joining, was it, um, Kane. Who's promoted with the Broncos. So... I love to see women taking over in football. I love to see women. I just love to see women taking over in general. Like, women can do it too, just like men. Just like when you have these kickers that's out kicking some of these men, they can do it too. So, big ups and congratulations on her, on that. And, you know, hope that role helps. And I hope you conquer that role and demolish that role. So have fun with it at the same time. Now Jets. CJ Mosley is going to play with a chip on his shoulder. Basically because he had a two year hiatus. He opted out of last season. And then he had a groin injury that ended his season before that. So he is going to play with a chip on the shoulder. And they had just traded to get him. So he, he going to play showing him that he still got it. And he can still do he can still go out and play hard. And, hey, when you take a two-year break, sometimes you need a little break because look at Gronk. He took a year break, came back, won a Super Bowl. So, it's possible. You just got to be patient, and you can do it. So, let's see what this, you know, this two-year, because you had two years off, that's you know, that's almost the same as Clay. Like, Clay's been out two years. Um, and so has uh, John Wall. So, let's see how that plays out for you. How that works out for you. And, oop. My bad. I seem to knock my camera down. But, yeah, let's see how that plays out. Now my camera don't want to stand up. There we go. But yes, at the end of the day, y'all still got a game to play, you still got money to make, and you still, if you're passionate about football, you got information to prove, you know? So, let's see. Now, the Bills been on, they've been kind of on, on an all-season Move around. They've been moving players, so they reconstructed Stefan Diggs' contract and Mitch Morse and Vernon Burl Butler and Mario Addison contracts. They restructured all those contracts. Um, they also signed loan snapper Fred Ferguson to a three-year extension. And... Next up would be for Josh Allen because, you know, a lot of these rookies are coming up on the Sitchins talk. So, next thing is up for that. But, yes, all the contracts have been reconstructed. Uh, with Diggs, details on his, it turns his into a signing bonus. Versus, like, you know, being a cap hit, it doesn't really hit the cap. That's what the reconstruction, especially with the cap set at 208 million this year so of course we knew players was going to take the hits on that um yeah 
let's see how that goes, you know. Stefan Diggs likes Josh Allen. Josh Allen is a well good leader and stuff like that. And then y'all know Tom Brady had um that knee surgery. So he was he probably was at uh he was at minicamp basically coaching might be coach at minicamp. Whenever that starts to them, he might be the coach at the minicamp. So but he did was throwing the football to a lot of his teammates with approved off team activities. So let's see how that be. Let's see how that go. But Bruce Aarons may not let him do that. He may we we will see. But anyways, <laughs> screw the Bucks. Because my Patriots didn't make it, but you know, they played a good, a hell of a good game. So, congratulations on that. Former Patriot, though, Rex Burkhead is heading to a crowded Texans. He's going to the Texans, so he's going to join Phil Lindsay, David Johnson, and Mark Ingram. Y'all hear those names? Philip Lindsay, David Johnson, Mark Ingram. Those are all veteran running backs. Um, all had decent, like, had they decent time in the spotlight. Let's see. And Burkey, he's more of a, I think he's more of a power back. Like, he's more of a running back. Philip Lindsay is a running back, and Ingram is a running back. David Johnson. Is the only one that was there beforehand, but mm, Philip Lindsay, David Johnson, Mark Ingram. Who's gonna start that? Like, I know, no offense to Rex, but he may not start unless he, you know, shows otherwise. Ingram is a power back, so you can put him in third down, you can put him in second down. And Philip Lindsay, he's just short and stocky and strong, so. Now I think he can catch out the backfield too, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, let's see how that works out. You know, they still got the the QB situation to worry about as well there. Um Tyrod Taylor is excited for the opportunity, but you know, you still got the Watson situation going on. So you got the QBs and the running backs. That's two very important positions that you have to get filled. And yeah, I I I don't know how this gonna work out, but I hope y'all worked everything out. Hope y'all gets the best. Nick Sorensen replaces Brian Snyder, who stepped down as special teams coordinator. So he he'll step down. Oh yeah, that was for the Jaguars. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's three people there. And then CFL Eggman changed his name to Elks. So now they the Eggman Elks now. Which I like that. I like the logo too when I see that. And for those who don't know what CFL is, that's the Canadian Football League. In case y'all didn't know. Um, but yes, they changed their name, decided to go with the name change. You know, now it's like double E, because they was just like Washington. They was the at the at Molten team. Now, it'll be like the at Molten Elks, and you one of your signals have is, is double E's. So, let's see how that season starts, how that season plays out. Still is Big Ben, though. He decided to take a pay cut. And he's gonna be what's best for this team. Like everybody's trying to stay under that that uh cap, that salary cap situation that um yeah, they try to just basically stay under the cap, but still make sure they get the players that they need to be successful and possibly win the Super Bowl. So season kicks off in September. And if we got preseason games, preseason games are in August.
But yeah, he takes a pay cut. He's going to do what's best for the team. And basically try to keep everybody together. So, a lot of quarterbacks be doing that. You know, Tom Brady did that. Actually, Tom Brady stayed doing that. He's been doing that for years. Like, he'll take a pay cut just so you can sign the receivers and just be successful. But, so, have y'all ever noticed how a lot of football players came up? Some people don't have experience. Some people didn't play college ball. Some people only played in high school ball, which goes to show no experience is needed. And therefore, the Tennessee Titans signed a wrestler named by the name of Adam Coombe. He is an All-American wrestler for the Michigan Wolverines. Never played football for the Michigan Wolverines, but did play f- football in high school. He will be, as a linebacker, as they lose Calvin Johnson, and he's going on retired reserve list, and they release offensive tackle Anthony McKinney. But, needless to say, Adam Kuhn will be joining the Tennessee Titans as a linebacker. Never, offensive line too at that. Um, never played football in college. He did play football in high school, but he was an All-American wrestler. He's won the state championship in high school for wrestling three different times. So, and usually that's how it is in high school. Like, I was one of those people like that. If you're, like, let's say you're, um, your football player. Let's say you're a running back. They're going to have you do track just so it can help with you running the ball. Like, you may be a sprinter. Same thing with me. When I was in high school, I did track, cross country, soccer, and wrestling. But I was always a distance runner. So, I was doing mile and two mile and then cross country. That's all longer miles. So, and in soccer, that's just long distance running in general because you run up and down the field. But, that's a whole difference, whole different running, running, kicking, slightly spreading. So it, like they help out. It's a good benefit, and yeah, it does that. So let's see what he does. And you know, I talked about earlier, but we may have a possible trade. Y'all know Julio Jones wanted out, so let's see where he goes. Um. I can see him going. He needs to go somewhere where it's going to be a good quarterback that can throw the ball and instead plays. So, because Matt Ryan, he he's there, but I think he's at his end of his reign. But ever since, you know, you got Calvin Ridley and all those other receivers, Julio snap like his targets kind of diminished. So, let's see where he goes and. I would love to see him go with the Bears, but I don't think the Bears can afford him right now. But maybe the Tennessee Titans or who else? Or the Patriots. We don't have a true number one receiver anymore since other members decided to retire. So let's see what that does. I want to see. I want to know. How does it go? Anyways, we're going to take another music break. You I listen to Dragon Sports Live. And if you want to see Dragon Sports Live, just go to YouTube and type in Dragon Jump Productions. Or you can type in D-O-N-P-E-1 in your search bar. And you shall see Dragon Sports Live. And if you don't want to see it, you can listen to it on Spotify, Pop, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or wherever you get your podcasts. So... With that being said, we'll be right back. Take a little short music break. Check it out. You're listening to Drag Sports Live. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Fat checks in the mail. Oh, whoa. Every day's payday. I know, I know. Oh, whoa. Traffic got to stay low. Take a look at me, but time flies when I 
take a look at you I never lied when I said that I'm a G Just like a blood girl, I gotta keep it through Gotta understand I'm a man with a plan From the ghetto to the sand I remain the same nigga Devil Cup Plotting with my brother them, AKA my cousin them. Look at us, we came a long way from the basement Shit ain't been the same since Handling this fame shit All I see is plastic on rappers The fake shit But I'm going back to That kid in the basement Who I gotta lie to All this shit is tasteless Mmm That's the Roman candle All my niggas hate it Straight back to the bando Mmm Ain't no hesitating Gotta make it now Niggas get impatient Bad checks in the mail Butterflies when you take a look at me, but time flies when I take a look at you. I never lied when I said that I'm a G. Just like a blood girl, I gotta keep it cool. I might pop up today. Yeah. I might call you today. Welcome, welcome back to Dragon Sports Live. If you just tuning in, I am Dante Payne, your host for this lovely show. People ask, what's Dragon Sports Live? Well, it's a sports podcast that gives you music and sports. Breakdowns from NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, and more. I will start incorporating more sports, but those three sports for sure. All right. So, you know, playoffs is on and popping, right? Yes, it's on and popping. Fans are still getting banned left and right. Especially from the Knicks, Sixers, and Jazz. It's always some with those three teams. I don't know what it is. First, with the Knicks. You have... Well, not the Knicks. The Sixers. Let's start with them first. You have a fan that throws popcorn on Russell Westbrook. It, like, why? Why are you pouring popcorn on him? The man was lipping off, going off on his own power with an ankle injury. And you th- decided to throw popcorn on him. Why? Like, why? Do y'all realize some of these fans got a lot of control? I mean, some of these players got control. Do you think if you provoke them the wrong way? Look, Westbrook, that ain't his first run in with fans. Or you go back to Ron Artest. He jumped in the crowd. It's like, they can take y'all trash talk and handling, but when y'all start disrespecting them, it's a whole different thing. Knicks fans. Spitting on, on uh, Trey Young. Why? Like, why, peoples? Why? Just go there. Watch the game. Do your trash talking. But why are you fishy? You got to alter and basically be banned for life from the stadium. And it's, and it's like, Knicks is known for banning people. They even ban celebrities. They even ban players. And former players that used to be, that's Hall of Fame. So they're known for being banned. So, I, look, I don't even know what to say. And then the Jazz, y'all stay getting fans in because some of y'all fans is kind of racist. You know, like I said, Westbrook dealt with a fan in Utah before. And so did John Morant's parents or his dad. So it's like, why must y'all... Feel like y'all big and bold, like, cause y'all come to the game. Y'all can't do what y'all please. 
That's why some fans got arrested. Like, if I'm going to go be a fan of the game, I'm going to be a fan. If a player that I don't like, I'm still going to respect that player. That's the same thing. I can say this. LeBron's game is great. His He's a great businessman. I just don't like what he do in-game at sometimes. I don't like you play bully ball and then you expect everybody to get every call to go your way. No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way at all. But anyways, oops. Anyways, that's that. Lakers had take a 2-1 lead. Actually, yeah. Lakers took a 2-1 lead over the Suns. And Mavericks take a 3-2 lead against the Clippers. Celtics got bounced by the uh you know, they got bounced by the next, but it's cool. Got a little tip coming down, but it's all good. And um Sixers was without Joel and B for Game 5 versus the Wizards. Wizards cat uh David Burton is out for the rest of the series with a cap strain. And then Hawks advance, knocked out the six. They were set to play against the Sixers this upcoming Sunday. And, you know, all season, playoff season, and all that. So we had a couple coaches step down or been promoted or whatever, you know. Like, let's start with WNBA. Storm Blue uh, coach Dan Hughes, he retires as coach. And Noel Quinn takes over. But they also lost Makaya Herford for the, uh, Herbert for the rest of the season, too. So it's like you lose some people at the same time. And, you know... The Storm also been cruising. They started out the season 5-1. and one. So, Noel Quinn gets already a pretty stacked team that Dan Hughes decided that he built. And she was already assisted there. So, taking over the reins and going to go from there. My nose is itching. Sorry, people, if y'all about to hear me sneeze. But, on top of the... The, the Celtics been out. So Danny Ainge is stepping down. Brad Stevens is moving to the front office role and will lead the search for a new coaching job. Which, in return, it made Stephen A. furious because at the end of the day, it's a lot of openings out there and he just wants to see more African American men either step up in the GM role or um, a front office role. As well as coaching. And like. Some people just get the keys handed to them. Like Steve Nash. No coaching experience at all. Just you know. Got handed a good team. Some coaches. They have to struggle and fight. With the team. To build the team back up. And. It, it is the way it is. But. I hope Brad Stevens. Fires a team that. You know. Would guide the Celtics. And I figured it was going to come to an end. Because it's like. They get to the playoffs, but get bounced in the first round. So it's like, after a while, you, you built the squad, but you don't know what else you can do. And you've been, like, Danny Ainge was with the was the third longest tenure head official uh, there because it was, he was right behind Pat Riley. So it was like, okay. Because he's been with the team since 2003. So, you know. Is now 21. So he put in the time. He put in the work. You know. Maybe he's still around. And be a, like an advisor or role. But. It is. They gonna. Um, lead that search. And I hope for the best. We also had. A couple other coaches step down. Um, Steve Crawford. He won't return with the team. And Terry Scott. So that's three coaching openings. And let's see 
what happens. Let's see if uh people that want to be like Chauncey Billups or Sam Cassell, people will make great coaches who's been assistants. Let's see if they step their game up and let's see what they're going to do. Um, I say this. Stay tuned for another edition of Dragon Sports Live because coming up, give you more breakdown of NBA playoffs, Major League Baseball, and NFL. What's going on? Players putting in their work. So stay tuned. Find out. And let's see what happens. Until then, i see you guys then. Ha <laughs> ha.